When is a serial killer not a serial killer? When they're part of the mob. Today, we're going to go over Roy Domino. Welcome, angry, faithful. Yes, that's right. We're going to go over Roy Domino, uh, who was a... I, he was part of the mob, but I think he was actually a crime boss. He had his own crew. Uh, yeah, and he disposed of bodies and stuff, but uh, let's get into it. Roy Albert Domino was born uh, September 7th, 1940, in the flats of Brooklyn to a working-class Italian immigrant fa uh, family of Napoleon origins, the fourth of five children of Eleanor and Anthony Domino, a laundry uh, company de uh, delivery man. Domino graduated from James Madison High School in 1959, the same high school where economist uh, Waller Block and future Senator Bernie Sanders were among the uh, his graduating classmates. Between the ages of 15 to 20, uh, 22, he was uh, also work. He started working at a local gro uh, grocery store, where he trained as a apprentice butcher. Roy's older brother, uh, Anthony Frank Chubby Domino, a U.S. Marine Corps corporal, was killed in, uh, during actions in the Korean War on April twenty third, nineteen fifty one, at age twenty. His father died of a heart attack on December twelfth, nineteen sixty, when. Roy was 19. His mother's memory subsequently returned to Italy with his uh, with Roy's youngest brother to live with relatives in Naples. Now starting his career, uh, criminal career, Roy Domino was initially an associate with the Flat uh, Car Carniza uh, faction of the Lunchnese crime family, which controlled tow trucking companies, junkyards, and car theft operations in the section of Brooklyn. Anthony G uh, Gigi a soldier in the Galbino crime family, noticed Domino in 1966 and told him that he could make more money with a successful business if he uh, would come to work directly to the uh, with the Gambinos. Throughout the late 1960s, Domino's organized crime uh, prospects increased twofold. He continued in a loan sharking business with Gigi and became... I wonder if that's actually... I'm. Pr I think I'm pronouncing this right. Stephen Hawking from the grave. Give me a little gaggy. Hint. Gaggy. That's gaggy, not gaggy. Gaggy uh, began developing crew of the young men uh, involved in car theft. It was the collective of criminals that become known to the underworld and law enforcement circles as the Domino Crime Family or the Domino Crew. The first member of the Domino Crew. It was 16-year-old Chris Rosenberg who met Domino in 1966 when he was dealing marijuana at the Corres gas station. Domino helped Rosenberg increase his business and profits by loaning him money so that he could deal large amounts. By 1972, Rosenberg had introduced his friends to Domino, and they began working for him as well. The additional members of the crew uh, came to include Joseph and Patrick Tesla, uh, Testa, uh, Anthony Sneers, Richard and Franklin Dinino, Stephen Hawkins from the grave, Dino, Dino, Henry Burrell, and Joseph Dracula. Golem. Uh, we're gonna do another Stephen Hawking speech. Guglielmo. Guglielmo. Dracula. Guglielmo. Uh, Nemino, Domino's cousin. And later, Vito Arena and Carlo uh, Profia. Domino joined the, a Brooklyn credit union that same year, gaining a position in the board of directors shortly afterwards. He utilized his position to launder money, earning uh, earned through his illegal ventures. He also introduced uh, colleagues at the credit union to a lucrative side business, laundering the money of drug dealers to have uh, he had become acquainted with. Domino also built up his uh, loan sharking business with funds stolen from the credit un union reserves. Domino collected a collection of loan shark customers while still primarily those in the car, uh, car industry. 
soon included other business such as a dentist office, an abortion clinic, restaurants, and flea markets. He also listed uh, as an employee of Brooklyn a company named SC Sportswear Corp uh, Corporation and frequently told his neighbors he worked in construction, food retail, and used cars business. Okay. In 1974, a conflict that uh, had erupted between, between Domino's crew and Andre Katz, a young auto repair shop owner who was partnered with Domino in the Sterling Car Ring, had con uh, and it had continued to escalate. In, in January 1975, Katz visited the Brooklyn District Attorney Office and voluntarily provided them information on Chris Rosenberg who was heavily involved in the auto theft part of his crew. Domino learned about the meeting immediately after it happened. Uh, immediately, ha uh, meeting immediately happening after it happened. Wow, that's that that whole phrase right there, and it's only four words stumped me. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Uh, from an Auto, uh, auto crimes detectives on his payroll. Roy o uh, ordered Domino's crew associated uh, Henry Boyle to contact a female acquaintance, probably Judith Quinzel. Ooh, that's Quinzel, Harley Quinn. Hmm. Uh, and if you don't know comics, you don't know who Quinzel is. About being used as bait in May. Katz appeared before Brooklyn Grand Jury and divulged what he knew about the Domino crew's illegal activities. On June 13, 1975, Quinzel was uh, used to successfully lure Katz to an apartment complex for what he thought was a date, where upon arrival, he was immediately abducted by the members of Domino's crew. He was then uh, took into a meat department in a supermarket in Rockway, Beach Queens, where he was stabbed multiple times in the heart and and then the back by a butcher's knife. After being decapitated, after being decapitated, Cat's head was then crushed uh, when it was put through a machine normally used to compact uh, cardboard. The body parts were wrapped in plastic bags and then disposed of in the neat supermarket dumpster where they were discovered days later when a pedestrian walking his dog spotted one of Katz's legs lying on the curb near the store. Police reported uh, to the press that a grasty, brutal killing had occurred, but, it, but that was the extent of the information given. The uh, body was identified as Andre Katz two days later through use of dental records. The head was crushed. How did... I wonder how they did that because apparently everything was crushed. I mean, they could identify from fingertips and everything, but it's just one of those curiosity. Anyways, the Gemini method, as in 1970s continued, Domino uh, cultivated his followers into a crew of experts uh, experienced with the process of murdering, dismembering victims. With the exception of killing uh and intended to send a message to anyone who would hinder their crime, criminal activities or murder that presented no other alternative. A set of method of executions was established by Domino and his crew to ensure that his victims would be dispatched quickly and then made into and made to bis, disappear. The style of the execution was uh, dubbed the Gemini Method. After the Gemini Lounge, the primary hangout of the Domino crew, also, uh, also well as the site where most of the crew uh, victims were killed. The process of the Gemini method, as revealed by multiple crew members and associates who became go government witnesses in the early 1980s, was to lure the vic uh, victim through the side door of the lounge into the apartment in the back portion of the building. At this point, the crew member, almost always Domino, uh, according to the crew member turned government witness, Frank Domino, uh, would approach with a silenced pistol, a suppressed pistol, in which uh, in one hand 
and a towel in the other, shooting the victim in the head, then wrapping the towel around the victim's head to wound like a turban to snatch the blood flow. Immediately after, another member of the crew, originally Chris Rosenberg, up until 1979's murder, according to the government witness testimony, would stab the victim in the heart to prevent more blood from pumping out of the gunshot wound. By then, the victim would be dead, at the, uh, which point the body would be stripped of clothing, dragged to the bathroom where the remains blood drained out or congealed within the body. This was the estimate. Uh, this was to eliminate the mess in the next step. When the crew would uh, place the body onto plastic sheets, lay out, lay them out into the main room, and proceed, uh, proceed to dismember it, cutting off ar the arms, legs, and heads. The body parts would be put into bags, placed in a cardboard box, and sent to uh, Fountain Animal. Uh, Fountain Avenue dump in Brooklyn. So many tons of garbage were dropped each day at the dump that it would be nearly impossible for the bodies to be discovered. During the initial stages of an early 1980s federal state task force targeting the Domino crew, a plan by authorities to excavate sections of the dump to locate the remains of the victims was aborted when it was deemed too costly and unlikely to locate any meaningful evidence. The landfill uh, opposite of uh, Starlet City apartment complex on Pennsylvania Ave Avenue in heavily African-American East New York section of Brooklyn across to the Belt Park was closed in 1985 and capped over since. All signs and odors that the landfill existed is gone, but replaced by a parkland. Wow, there's probably a lot of bar. Uh, there's probably a lot of bodies in that landfill, or Parkland. Some victims were killed in other ways for various reasons. At times, uh, suspected informants or those who committed an act of disrespecting against any of the members of the crew or their superiors had their bodies left in the street in New York to serve as a message and a warning. There was also occasions where it would not be possible to lure the intended victims into the Gemini Lounge, in which case their location would be used. A cabin cruiser owned by Richard Domino was used at least once, occasionally to dispose of the remains. In the latter half of 1975, Domino became a silent partner in the Peep Show and Prostitutes establishment in Bricktown, New Jersey, after the owner of the business became unable to pay his loan shark debts. Domino also began dealing with, uh, oh my God, really? Okay, it's part of the thing. Domino also began dealing with bestiality and child pornography which he sold to his New Jersey establishment as a connection he had had in Rhode Island. When uh, Gaggy... Get, uh, I'm going to mess up his word, name again. Hold on. Gaggy. Yeah, Gaggy. When Gaggy found out about Domino's involvement in such taboo films, he ordered Domino to stop under uh, the threat of death. However, Domino uh, defiled Gaggy and continued the practice. Gaggy did not retaliate and according to his nephew uh, Dominique Mangalo the subject was never mentioned again as long as Domino continued making payments to Gaggy <sighs> should have shot him sorry it I don't, I don't deal with like uh, child stuff or even dogs god bullshit. Okay. Domino also dealt with narcotics despite the Gambino's uh, uh, family strict forbidding such activities. He financed a major operation Corbin uh, Columbia's marijuana, which was uploaded in offshore freights and sold to various auto shops in uh, Carniza, and also sold cocaine out of the Gemini Lounge. 1975 uh, drew, as 1975 drew to a close, Domino was the subject in an internal revenue service investigating into his income. Months earlier, the Brno of Brooklyn Credit Union had been uh, pushed into an insolvency as a result of Domino and his colleagues' plundering of its finance. As a result, 
Domino quit the credit union before an indictment could be handed down against him. He utilized fault affidavits from business owners by friends and his uh, acquaintances, claiming he was ne uh, he was on the payroll as an employee. These affidavits served to account from some of his income, allowing him to reach the settlement with the IRS. It's the only people you can't stop, the IRS. Domino's source of income also... <clears throat> A while as his crew continued to grow, by uh, July 1976, Domino added an automotive firm by the name of Team Auto Wholesalers to his land, uh, loan shark customers. The owner of Team Auto, Matthew Rega, also purchased stolen vehicles from the crew and sold them off at a New Jersey car lock that he owned. He also involved himself in hijacking delivery trucks from JFK International Airport. His crew now included <clears throat> Edward Danny Grillo, a hijacker who had just been released from prison. In the fall of 1976, the Galbino uh, family went through a massive change when its boss, Carlos Galbino, died of natural causes. Uh, Paul Castillo was named the boss. With, I'm going to have to Stephen Hawking's this. Stephen Hawking, from the grave. Please help me out with this wordage. Aniel Odella Cruz. Aniel Odella Cruz retained the position of underboss. The implications of this were twofold for Domino. Gigi, Gigi, Giga was elevated to business of uh, Car Cargamino? Oh, Capo, taking over the crew uh, of Man of Castile, previ uh, previously headed. This promotion was beneficial to the Domino, uh, whose mentor was not even closer to the family's leadership. Another advantage uh, was that with Gambino de uh, decreased, his new, the new associates would be able uh, enabled. Uh, Eligible. Eligible for membership into the family. Castillo did not immediately open the books for the new members, opting instead to promote existing members and shuffle around the crew's leadership. He also alleged, uh, allegedly opposed the idea of Domino being made. Castillo uh, involved himself in white-collar crime and looked down on street-level members such as Domino. And, uh, additionally, Castillo... I'm messing up his name. Sorry, people. Hold on. Castellano. Castellano. Uh, felt Domino was uncontrollable. Uh, Giga. I am keep on messing up his name. Gaggy. Gaggy. Gaggy's attempt to persuade Castellano uh, to make D uh, Domino were cons uh, continually rejected. By 1977, Domino became distraught by his situation uh, by this situation and searched for opportunities that would ensure larger returns for his superiors. Domino sourced his uh, induction into the Gambino family by forming an alliance with the Irish uh, American gang known as the Westies. This is where we get him at. Uh, the leader of a rival Irish gang, Mickey Splendy. Spillane. Spillane. I'm totally wrong. Who caused delays in the construction of the Jacob uh, K. Jarvis uh, Convention Center? Much to the frustration of the Gammy uh, boss, Paul Castillo, uh, who had part of the project. After the un uh, unsolved murder of Spine in May 1977, the West East leader, James uh, Conona, uh, assembled to control the Irish Moms of Bracken in the west side of Manhattan. Domino, since an opportunity to create a vast source of income for the Gambino crime family, persuade Gigi uh, uh, to consider a partnership with the Westies. Shortly out, uh, afterwards, Kokona and his second in uh, command, Mickey uh, Featherstone, were called into the meeting with the Castellans. Cast Castellans. Anyways, in which uh, they were grouped, became a de facto uh, arm of the Gabino family and shared 10% of all profits. 
In exchange, the Westies uh, would be privy to several lucrative union deals and make on murder contracts for the family. It was a pivotal role. It was a pivotal role in, uh, in the Westies Gambino Alliance that reported convicted Castillo, Castillo to give Domino his button or formally induct him into the family. Domino was made in uh, mid-1977 and put in charge of handling all family business with the Westies. He was ordered to get permission before committing any murders and avoid drug dealing. Domino's crew, however, continued to sell large amounts of cocaine, marijuana, and a various of narcotic bills. Domino also continued to commit unsanctioned killings, such as in the 1977 double homicide of Jonathan uh, Quinn, a car theft uh, suspect of cooperating with law enforcement, and Craig Golden, Quinn's 19-year-old girlfriend. Domino's crew dumped the bodies in a location where they would be discovered to uh, severe a warning against cooperating with authorities. In 1978, Frederick Demi- uh, Denomi, previously Domino's uh Stephen Hawking's from the grave. Help me out on this one. Chauffeur. Chauffeur. Okay. I don't know why that was hard. Uh, Join the crew. Domino and his crew murdered Edward uh, Grillo, who had fallen into a heavily debt with Domino and, and was believed to be becoming uh, susceptible uh, to the police. Cor- I'm just going to let Stephen Hawking do this whole thing because it's big words susceptible to police coercion oh okay grillo who was dismembered and disposed of later in the with the crew members victims was the first known uh occurrence of initial crew discipline the next me- uh, member to be killed was rosenberg who held up the drug de- a drug deal with the uh, cuban man living in florida and then murdered him and his associates when they traveled to New York to complete the cell. The Cuban uh, had connections with the Cuban drug cartel, raised raising the possibility of violence between the Galbino family and the uh, Cubans unless Rosenberg was dealt with. Domino uh, was ordered to kill Rosenberg, but stalled for weeks during this period. Domino committed uh, his most public uh, murder. The victim was a college student with no criminal ties with uh, Dominic Raggini, Rossini, who was paying for his tuition as a door-to-door salesman. Tomino saw Rossini's parking outside of uh, Maskin uh, Park, Long Island house, assuming he was the uh, a Cuban assassin. <laughs> he actually I'm sorry I shouldn't laugh, but he accidentally killed someone just uh, uh, that he thought. Okay. Domino and his crew members, Joseph Galamino and Freddie Domino, uh, proceeding uh, gag, Gagzini. Stephen Hawking is from the uh, Italian is not my best subject. Ragucci. Ragucci. Okay. In a seven mile car chase and route. Uh, 110 through Annaville and Farmingsdale, after which the student was shot to death by Domino. After returning home and gathering his family, Domino drove them out to Long Island and left them in a hotel in upstate New York for two weeks. According to Domino's son, Albert, he uh, started crying when he discovered he had murdered an innocent teenager and did not eat for several days afterwards. The Pope's execution of Rassini uh, also put a strain on Domino's relationship with his uh, wife, Galdi, who had previously been able to ignore her hus- husband's criminal activities. Gaggies was in for, uh, and furiest the murder of Gaggi. See, I'm going to ruin his name. Hold on. Ragucci. Ragucci. And ordered Domino to kill Rosenberg before there were any other in- uh, innocent victims. On May 11th, 1979, 
Rosenborg reported to the Gemini Clubhouse for a crew uh, for for the crew's usual Friday night meeting. Shortly after his arrival, Domino quickly fired a single bullet into the unsuspected Rosenberg's head. The usual unu- Usually ice cold Domino hesitated with a still living Rosenberg managed to raise from the floor to one knee. But Anthony Stinner moved in to finish him off with four shots to the head. Unlike Grillo, Rosenborg's body was not dismembered and made uh, to disappear. The Colombians had dis- uh, demanded that his uh, murderer make the newspapers. Domino's uh, men placed Rosenberg's body in in his car and left it on the side of Cross Bay Boulevard near the Gateway National Wildlife Refuge and Broad Channel, Queens to be found. Albert Domino later recounted that Rosenburn's murder affected his father deeply, that when Domino came home after the killing, he went into his study room and didn't come out for days after uh, Rosenberg's murder. Domino spent six weeks hiding out with Galmino in a safe, a safe house near 42nd Street in Times Square, Manhattan, growing a full beer and dis, uh, disguising himself with a baseball cat and sunglasses when out in public. The Empire Boulevard Operation. As 1979 it continued, Domino began to explain his business and activities, in particular his auto theft operations, was soon to become the largest in New York City's history, dubbed the Empire Boulevard Operation by FBI agents. The operation consisted of hundreds of stolen cars being shipped from the port of New York, New Jersey, to Kuwait and Puerto Rico. Domino uh, put together a group of five active partners in the operation, all of whom earned the approximately 30000 a week each in profit. Shoo. Kind of curious. I'm going to look at 30000 in 1979 and see how much they made. Basically, they they made $131,520 in 2020 inflation. Jeez, still, that's a wow. Even just the 30000 a week. But a hundred, uh, wow, 100, about a hundred grand on close to like two, uh, 150. Alongside from uh, alongside from stolen automobiles, Domino was also shipping cigarettes and pornographic magazines to the Middle East. Which, uh, if you don't know, reason why you would do that in the Middle East, uh, the pornographic magazines is at that time frame, and even in this time frame, pornographic material is still illegal in most of the parts of the Middle East. Aside, uh, aside from the active partners, other associates and crew members performed the unusual uh, actual stealing of automobiles off the street of New York. Among these associates was Vito Arena, a longtime car thief and armed robber who began working with the Domino in 1978 after murdering his old partner. Like uh, Danino, Danino. Uh, Arena became closely involved with the uh, Domino crew by the end of 1970s. In 1979, the scheme was nearly stopped by legitimate car dealers who threatened to inform the police. He was murdered alongside with the an uninvolved acquaintance before he could provide law enforcement authorities with information. Night, uh, late 1979, Domino and Nino Giga Gigi, I'm just go Gigi. Become involved in a cl- conflict with James Espres- Espresno? Apolino. Apolino and James Apolino Jr. Uh, two made Galbino members in Gigi's crew. They were potential uncles and cousins, respectively, in the corrupt from, uh, former NYPD uh, uh, department detective. Louis Espinino, whose father, Ralph, brother of St. James Sr., was also made a uh, member of the Galpino family. James uh, Espinino met with Paul Castellano and associated with Domino and Gaggy for for drug deals, which carried a potential death. Castellano 
to whom Gigi was coarsely allied, sided against uh, Espinino in the situation and gave Gigi permission to do what he pleased. He and Domino shot the two uh, to death in Esperanto Jr.'s car en route to Gemini Lounge, October 1st, 1971. A witness driving by uh, right as the shots were fired within the parked car management uh, managed to alert the nearby police who arrested Gigi after the shootout between the two that left Gigi with a bullet wound in, uh, in his neck. Domino uh, has split up with Gigi as uh, left the scene. He was not arres uh, arrested and identified by the witness. Gigi was charged with murder and attempted murder by the police officer, but uh, through ju uh, jury temperature was convic uh, convicted only of assault and given five to 15 year sentence in federal prison. Domino murdered the witness shortly after Gigi's sentence in March 1980. He did that. He's been prosecuted. But anyways, the uh, Empire Boulevard operation had continued to expand throughout 1979 into the 1980s until the warehouse ser uh, serving as a headquarters was raided by agents from New York, New York branch of the FBI in the summer of 1980. The FBI been surveying the warehouse and some of the men up, uh, uploading vehicles there and had shortly thereafter obtained a search warrant. Henry Bra Braley and Frederick Denomi were arrested in May 1981 for their roles in the operation, by, uh, but there was not an, enough evidence to arrest any of the active partners. Domino ordered Borello and De they know me to plead guilty to the charges in hopes that it would stop any uh, further investigation into the activities uh, by the FBI and other law enforcement uh, agencies. The death and downfall. By 1982, the FBI was investigating the enormous uh, number of missing and murderous, uh, murdered persons who were linked to Domino. I'm sorry. Uh, or who had last been uh, seen entering the Gemini Lounge. Around this time, an FBI bug in the home of Galbino's uh, family, Copa uh, Ca Capo. <clears throat> Angelo uh, Rigoro picked up a conversation between Rigoro and Gene Gotti. Gotti. Was that the Gene Gotti? Yeah, Gene Gotti. Okay. The brother, uh, the brother of John Gotti, in the conversation, it was discussed that Paul uh, Castino uh, had put a, uh, out a hit on Dimino, but was half uh, having difficult finding someone who's willing to do the job. Gene Gotti mentioned th uh, this to his brother. John was worried about uh, taking the contract, as Dimino had an army of killers around him. It is also mentioned in the same secret, uh, secretly recorded conversation that at the time, John had ki killed fewer than 10 people, while Domino had killed 37 that he had known about, according to the mob turncoat Sammy uh, Grab Grabano. Grabano? <laughs> mm, sorry. Never eat and do these things at the same time. Grabano. Gravino. Eventually, the contract was given to Frank Decino, uh, but Decino and his crew could not get uh, to Domino either. Uh, Decino allegedly handed the job to the uh, to Domino's own men. Wow. Okay, let's get an extra scene. Domino's son Albert wrote in his final uh, about his final days. Domino was paranoid and knew that he would uh, be killed soon. In his final days, Domino was seen wearing a leather jacket with a shotgun concealed underneath. Domino considered faking his own death by having his son shoot him and laying low. On January 10th, 1983, Domino went to a crew member of Patty Tesla house uh, for a meeting with his men. That night, he failed to attend his daughter's uh, birthday party. 
uh, which caused his family to be suspicious. Albert Domino uh, later found Roy's personal belongings, such as his watch, wallet, and ring in his study room and a Catholic pamphlet. Ten days later, on January 20th, Domino's uh, Cadillac Coupe de Ville was discovered in the parking lot of uh, Benera Boat Club in Sheepshare Bay, Brooklyn. The car was towed to a nearby police station where it was searched by organized crime control, uh, control bureau detectives. Domino's uh, personal frozen body was found in the trunk uh, with a chandelier on top of it. It had been shot multiple times in the he-, he had been shot multiple times in the head and a bullet wound in his hand, assuming that law enforcement to be a ris- uh, reflect. Reflex defensive wound caused by the killer's open fire on him. The task force investigated Domino's crew, uh, theorizing that Domino was set up by a, a similar manner to how it was set up by Rosenberg, and that got, uh, Gigi, Tessa, and Senator presented when he was killed on April 1984. Colombo crime family uh, soldier Ralph Scapo was over uh, her explaining to his associate that Domino had been killed by his own family because they merely suspected that he would not be able to stand up to legal charges that resulted from his stolen car ring. According to Scopa, uh, Castano also had put Domino away because he uh, he was crazy and had uh, cast iron balls. Oh, he was a tough guy tougher than him so albert domino believed that his father was killed by members of his own crew uh anthony gas pipe casto claimed that castanel gnome or john uh ordered john Gotti and frank dica to kill domain uh domino but they were unable to close uh close to, uh, get close to him uh de costa uh, suggested Costa, De Costa and Costa, uh, Costa could do it, as he knew Anthony Shedder and Joseph Tessa well. Costa ordered them to kill Domino, uh, cor- uh, according, assuring them that they would be no, uh, no re- uh, retribution, and that afterwards they would be uh, with him and the Lanchi's family. Domino visited the home of Patty Testa. To collect some money that he was owed, Joey Tester and uh, Sinter, and there's tongue twisting words, uh, were both there as Domino sat down and waited for a coffee and shot him dead. Ironically, according to Castillo, uh, Castillo Gnome, they're so close to the same name, ordering Domino's. Uh, at, Execution sealed his own fate. As Gotti and uh, Decino were uh, planning to kill him and uh, would do so on December 16th, 1985, Casu said that they would never have dared to move against Castillo while Demi- uh, Domino was uh, still alive. In the aftermath, in 1984, a 78 count incident was filed against 24 defendants, including the surviving uh, members of the Domino crew. Capo uh, Nino uh, Gaggi and uh, Gambolino crime family head of uh, Paul uh, crime family head Paul Castellino. Charges related to auto theft, racketeering, and drug trafficking. Paul Castellino was indicted for ordering the murder of uh, Domino as well as hosting, uh, hosting older crimes, but was killed in uh, December 1985 while out on bill in the middle of the first trial. The member was ordered by John Gotti, who thus became the new boss of the Gambino family. After the uh, death of Castellino, Nino Gag- Gaggi became the lead defendant, but too soon, they, uh, but he died later of natural causes. In March 1986, uh, six of the uh, guilty members with uh, Henry Boyle and other persons found guilty of two counts of murder. They were found guilty of murdering two people who uh, threatened to expose the Carf death ring. 
In June 1989, nine additional members, including uh, Anthony Sinder and Joseph Tessa, were found guilty. At the sen uh, sentencing, uh, Center and Testa uh, were given life sentence for the murder as additional 20 years for racketeering. Prosecutors William Mack Jr. said uh, the Roy Domino crew is the most violent crew ever prosecuted in federal court as far as my knowledge. And said uh, Domino uh, and saying Domino engaged in wholesale slaughter. The convictions later secure in large part of uh, large part by testimony of former members uh, Frederick Denum Denum and uh, Dominique uh, Magallo, as well as Vito Arena. Magallo turned uh, when he uh, learned that the uh, contract on his life and was placed in witness protection program for 20 years of his testimony. Uh, Richard Danino was killed in 1984, and Frederick uh, Domino later died in what was ruled as a suicide. He probably fell off the roof with five, five to six stab wounds. It happens. It's understandable. Uh, Vito Arena left New York in 1989 uh, after serving six years of an 18-year uh, uh, sentence after his testimony. He was killed in 1991, robbery in Dow uh, Texas. The Gemini Lounge later become a storefront church. Domino is uh, the subject of the 1992 book Murder Machine by Jerry Capsby and Janine Mustaine. Uh, Roy Domino's son, Albert, also wrote a book about the life growing up uh, called For the Sins of My Fabla, published in 2002. Domino is uh, portrayed by Michael Morrow in the 2001 film Boss of Bosses. Ray Liotta plays Domino in the uh, uh, 2012 film Abduction uh, Ab of Anthony Bernot's book, Richard Coulson. And, but yeah, apparently he... Good Lord. There's a list of members committed by Lister murder is committed by the Domino uh, crew family. Uh, yeah, most of them are the people that I've already talked about. Jeez, but there he probably had more than they're saying here. Uh, prior about sixty to seventy uh, people that he murdered in his time span as a uh, criminal. So, but anyways, thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching. Please, please leave leave something out there in the ether that someone's listening. And uh, thank you all that are actually commenting on our stuff on YouTube. Uh, I try to get back to you uh, guys as soon as possible, but you know, life happens. But uh, thank you all for leaving the comments, and I I enjoy each and every one of them, even though some of them are kind of cryptic, like one that said started at seven minutes. So <laughs> thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.